Today I'll be showing you how to make a Pluto Sum Sum out of polymer clay. Let's get started! Now the first thing I'll need for Pluto is this yellow piece of polymer clay that I've shaped into an oval and I've pressed flat. The next thing I'll need is a piece of yellow polymer clay shaped into a log and I'll just take my finger and just flatten that a little bit and that will be for his snout where his nose will go. So I'll just flatten this with my finger and then I'll put it on the bottom of where his face goes on the front of the polymer clay. Just pick a side to be the front like this and then the next thing I'll do is I'll attach his eyes. Now for the eyes I have this piece of flattened white polymer clay and what I'll do is I'll just cut off the bottom to make a straight line since this is going to sit right on top of his snout. So I cut off the bottom like this and then I'll shape the top into this M shape that he has at the top of his eyes. So I'll take my knife and I'll cut a tiny little triangle out of the top of it and then I'll try to make it into a curved shape. I'll use the back of my knife because it already actually has a curve on it and I'll just cut it like that and cut a little piece out like this. And it's not going to be perfectly curved at the top when I'm finished cutting it. It actually looks like an M. What I have to do is take my fingers and kind of round it out until it has that rounded curved look to it. So now that I'm happy with the size and shape of the white clay, I'm going to put that right on top of his snout because that's where his eyes are going to go. And I'll just press it on, on the front like this and then just press it down flat so that it attaches to your clay. When you're finished doing that, we're going to attach one eye on either side. So now I'm going to attach his eyes and for that I have tiny pieces of black rolled into a bowl which I'll flatten with my finger and then press on attached to the white. One on either side, just like this, and I'll put one on the other side, just like this. And just press it on there so that it sticks and doesn't fall off once your clay is baked. Now I've attached both Pluto's eyes and I also attached a nose, which is a little piece of black polymer clay shaped like an oval, and I put it on the snout. The next thing I'll be making will be his green collar that he has all around him. So I have a flattened piece of green polymer clay for that. I'll just drape this over his back right behind where his ears will be going. And then I just go to each side and then press it down as I go along and the excess I'll cut off. Now for Pluto's tail, I'll actually be adding a piece of string like this since his tail is actually a piece of string and for that I'll be using this. But I can't do that until after he's finished baking because it will burn in the oven. So what I'll be doing is I'll just be making a hole where his tail will go. So for that I have a toothpick and I'll just be making a hole and pressing it deep inside. You want it to be bigger than the string will actually be so that it can fit inside. And then for his ears, I'll actually do the same thing. There's the hole. For his ears, I'll actually be making indentations also because his ears I'll actually be making out of felt this time instead of clay. And I'll be attaching those once he's finished baking. And these will be the ears. So for his ears, I'll make a little indentation with my knife. I'll just see where his ears are supposed to go. He has one on either side. And I'll make a little indentation right here and press down with your knife and once again just like with his tail the, the opening that you make has to be bigger than the actual felt that you'll be putting in there otherwise it won't fit. I'll do the same thing on the other side and then I'll bake him and I'll show you how to attach the ears and the tail. So now I've finished making the holes in either side where the ears are going to go and I almost forgot he actually needs his little feet. So for that I have pieces of yellow polymer clay and I'll just roll each one out into a little log and place one on each side. Two in the front and two in the back. So now Pluto has all four of his legs attached. He's ready to be baked in the oven. And if you're not old enough to use the oven, please have a grown-up help you with this part. So now that Pluto's finished baking, I'll be attaching his tail. And to do that, I'll add a little drop, just one drop of glue inside the hole that I made for his tail. And then I'll just push that in with a little toothpick. And then I'll take my piece of string and I'll just slide it into the hole. And then I'll let that dry and I can trim it a little bit. For his ears, I'll also put a little bit of glue inside, inside the indentation I made for his ear. And what I'll do for that is 
I'll take this piece of black felt and I cut the tip into a triangular shape just so it will fit easier. And I'll slide it into the hole I made and then I'll push it in with my toothpick just so it fits in there nice and tightly. And then I can also trim the ear once this is finished. So I'll attach the other one and then I'll show you how he looks next to his big brother. So now my Pluto Sum Sum is ready. I stacked him on top of his big brother. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting a new video within the week. Thanks for watching.